Good morning. This morning we're looking at a uh, 2004 Jaguar X-Type uh, 3.0 liter sport model and the check engine light is on. Now I'm using a Snap-on Solus Ultra right here. So we're going to scroll into the screen here and go to Jaguar and then it should have an automatic ID. And there it is, auto ID, so we're going to go ahead and auto ID it. And when it's ready, it should pull up that it's a 2004 X-Type. Sometimes they get it wrong. Why? Probably because somebody could have changed the computer at some point or another. But we will see. There it is. And there's the VIN number, and it's 2004, so that's all correct. We're going to go ahead and go forward with it and go into engine uh, module. Go ahead and press yes. All right, we'll go to codes. And here we go. We got 1603, which is electronically erasable programmable read-only memory failure. Uh, and then a P0480 cooling fan one control circuit. And then a P1582 flight recorder data is stored. Uh, first off, the 1582 code is, for some reason with uh, Jaguar, they like to have an information uh, code, which is this. That means that other faults have happened and there is information stored. So we're going to ignore that one. And we're going to go to first the 1603. All right. Now on the 1603 in the manual, I'm using uh, Mitchell's Pro Demand. And it tells us information wise that uh, it's a battery voltage problem or a TCM uh, failure or the adaptive memory has been erased, which is probably part of the first part, which is the battery uh, uh, being disconnected. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go into functional tests and we're gonna go ahead and go into special functions here. And we're gonna go into uh, powertrain control module adaption clear first, which is what we usually do. And we'll read this. It says the procedure will guide you through the manual process of performing a powertrain control module adaption clear uh, hard reset. This will reset the stored engine management system adaption values. Once this is complete, the powertrain control module adaptions will reset a, to a green condition. A drive cycle will need to be carried out to relearn the adaptions. This procedure involves disconnecting the battery cable. As a result, radio presets and codes may be lost. Ensure the radio security code is available prior to carrying out this procedure. After you've completed this procedure, it may be necessary to perform some of the following functions. Reset the clock, re-enter the radio security code, perform the powertrain control module adaption relearn, perform a door window initialization process uh, procedure. So, uh, complete the following. Make sure the key has been removed from the ignition, all lights are off and all doors are closed, disconnect the negative cable from the battery terminal. Uh, care should be taken to not allow the negative to come in contact with the positive terminal of the battery. That goes without question. Keep the negative cable disconnected for 10 minutes. Reconnect the negative cable to the battery and ensure the connection is tight. So we replaced the alternator, which means we had the battery disconnected for a couple of hours. So what we're going to do is go ahead and choose powertrain control module adaption relearn. Once we do that, we'll follow these steps. For any reason, the powertrain control module has been reset to a green PCM condition, such as in this case, where the battery has been disconnected, a relearn will need to be performed. Without a relearn, certain functions of the PCM are inhibited and in some cases will not relearn during normal driving conditions. To enable the PCM to perform all functions properly, the following drive cycle must be performed. That is, make sure the following conditions are checked and corrected before carrying out the adaption procedure. Uh, engine oil and coolant levels are correct. Yep. Fuel level is greater than 30% and less than 80. Yep, that's correct. Fuel filter filler cap is correctly fitted and secured with the seal in good condition. We checked that. Fuel ignition and cooling systems in good working order. Yep, we check, checked all that. All rectification work relating to DCC, DTC is completed. We should be okay. Uh, we'll see what happens. All diagnostic trouble codes are cleared. All fuses, harnesses, and electrical connectors present and correct.